So, good evening, friends. In today's session, I shall be discussing with regard to um, the students, those who are going to United States mostly, and uh, students from mechanical background, which are type of the university they should be targeting to, which type of university they should be looking at, and what should be the criteria to find those universities. So in my 10 years of my uh, tenure in this industry, I have seen that students, those who want to go abroad, um, they are mostly um, confused with many of the things like where should I go and uh, which should be that locality, um, how is this university, how well is ranked is this university, what are the job prospects into this university, should I go to in this university or not and my GRE score is this, I am not getting a top notch university, I am only getting the average university, should I be going to this university. So in this session, I shall be definitely targeting to answer all of these questions in my um, today. So um, the students I am in uh, today, I shall be mostly discussing for the students, those who are um, um, from mechanical background, those who are looking for subjects related to mechanical engineering, related to industrial engineering, material science, mechatronics, engineering management, these. So in United States, what I have uh, found that if, if an international student, those who go to United States, and those who are willing, those who are planning, those who are looking to get a job in United States, for them it becomes very compulsory that during their study they do some of the internship. Because most of the students, 85% of the students, those who go to study abroad, they do not have work experience. They are fresher students. So till the time they are having some internship, they do that. Till the time they are having some CPT, curriculum based practical training into that city, then only the employers will be finding a comfort zone that yes, I can hire him. He has worked in here. He knows my culture. So he will be profitable to me. And that is the only funder to get a job in um, United States or anywhere in this world and uh, believe me my friends my experience is that employers they are very little they are concerned with the rank of the university they are very um, uh, profit making they are organization so they want to see that whether that student would be profitable to me or not if he is being profitable then definitely they will be hiring that student into the university into the for the employment by the employer if that university is not being profitable to the employer then despite of the fact that i am from the top notch university the employer will never hire you so thumb rule says that you need to be profitable to the employer and uh, you need to have some related experience now i as i hail from um, pune in maharashtra so what i have seen that our students those who come to uh, us um, they are mostly looking for, um, you know, those who, students those who are studying into Pune, they do an internship into Pune itself. Those students those who are studying into Mumbai, they do an internship into Mumbai itself. Students from Delhi never come to Mumbai for internship and students from Mumbai never come to Pune for internship. So the, in this way, I just want to say that the university, the locality where you are studying, that locality only provides you an internship opportunity. That locality only provides you a curriculum based practical training CPT opportunity. We need to be very uh, conservative, we need to be very choosy, we need to be very peculiar in um, locality preferences when I am finalizing my university in the United States. So for mechanical which I have seen that the maximum the growth rate and the total revenue, the percentage of total revenue by the manufacturing companies is the maximum in Michigan. And as many of my students, they have been placed into Michigan, they have uh, got very good jobs also. So today I shall be discussing with regard to some of the states, some of the localities which are very good for manufacturing, which are very good for mechanical into those areas and definitely I shall be talking about this. So I shall start with Michigan first. In Michigan there are many universities like say Devonport University, Grand Valley University, Catering University, Lawrence State University, Michigan State University, University of Michigan Ann Arbor. There are many other branches of University of Michigan as well. So these are the universities there, but the job areas where your student is finding a job in United States and mostly the curriculum based practical training, those areas in Michigan is near and around Warren and Detroit. So most of the companies are there. Top two uh, motorsport companies, to top two motor corp companies from entire United States are from um, United uh, Michigan, and they have their headquarters in Detroit. And many of the concerned companies, which are helping those employ, those uh, motor companies, they are also from 
Detroit area, area only. So in Detroit, students are finding a job. So like just take an example. Um, I, I would discuss some of the um, you know big employers in uh, Detroit area or in Michigan, like say General Motors, then Dura Automobiles, then Chrysler, Ford Detroit, Flint Truck Assembly. Then they have Harmer Miller, Hus Puppies, Steel Case, and uh, um, Bosho, then um, um, Boss, Strico, Jimo, um, um, Fisher Price. These are the big companies there in uh, Michigan areas. Um, into Detroit and when we talk about the universities say um, Devonport University and I believe um, um, Grand Valley State University they do not have something related to the mechanical student some courses related to that but Catering University Catering University is having masters in mechanical engineering Catering University is having masters in industrial engineering and this Catering University is one hour and ten minutes only from Detroit so students those who are studying into Catering University they have a good feasibility they have good commutation to go and approach those employers and employers also in United States they do some of the seminars they do some of the workshop within the university which are under their reach they will definitely not be traveling for 14 hours for a workshop to the university unless that university is having a very good contact with that employer so this university is like just take an example of catering university is one hour and 20, 10 minutes from Detroit area then um, the second university which I would mention like um, say Lawrence Tech University Lawrence Tech University is in the heart of Detroit 90 minutes and uh, um, from Warren Detroit both and they have very good fabulous courses like say uh, automobile engineering they have they have in, for, for postgraduate masters in mechanical engineering they have masters in industrial engineering they have masters in um, system engineering they do also have uh, a dual degree course in that dual degree course student would be getting a master's in mechanical engineering along with the management course so the students who do not want to study only technical and they want to have a blend of uh, management along with technical then this university serves the purpose and this university does not uh, <clears throat> require a uh, 330 or 320 GRE school, it's a moderate university. So students with having say around a profile of 55, 56 percent and 300, 304, 305 GRE school, they can definitely be looking at this university. Then I shall be talking about one um, university like say um, Northern Michigan University. They are very good in management, but unfortunately they do not have the mechanical engineering courses. But say Sagina Valley University, they have a very good course in MS in energy and materials. Now if I say Sagina Valley, just take an example uh, my friends, then this university is not a very well known university but for students who want to study energy or systems, for them they have this very peculiar course and students who are studying into this university for this course they are definitely finding a very good um, CPT opportunities there. So this can be a good uh, pick for the students who do not have a very big GRE score and they want to, they, they are pretty sure that what is my plan. My plan is to go to United States. My plan is to study into some reputed university and then get a job. If this is your plan, this university definitely can be a good pick. Then University of Michigan Ann Harbor. Ann Harbor, as you know, that uh, they are having many of the courses related to mechanical engineering. They have masters in engineering, automotive, then um, energy system, engineering, system engineering. They do have structural engineering for uh, mechanical students and this university is very reputed university, ranked university so you need to have a very good GRE and the academic score for the University of Ann Arbor if you are looking at then University of Michigan another branch that is Dearborn if you just take an exam, Dearborn, Dearborn is in the heart it, it's, it's, it's 9 minutes from uh, Detroit area and recently Chrysler has done 3 back to back um, workshop with University of Michigan Dearborn so in this back to back um, um, workshop they do definitely not be giving you a job but what they tell you that what are their requirements what are an employer thinks that what should be in the students so that they can be hired by Chrysler or any of such employer so they give they set your expectation they tell you how to reach to that and then you have to work in that way and you are having a good industry contact in this way then University of Michigan, another is Flint, but unfortunately they do not have uh, many of the courses. But Wayne State University, it's somewhere around uh, um, six minutes, and uh, they have very good courses into this. For mechanical engineering, they are into top 100 US News ranking as well. And students, they are uh, getting a very good job. Then Western Michigan University, Western Michigan University is a bit far from 
Detroit area. It's around two hours and thirteen minutes. But uh, they have good courses like uh, mechanical engineering. They have automobile engineering. Then recently, like in um, February two thousand seventeen, they did a very good job fair. And my student was going into that university. They have been for this job fair, and they got very good response from the employers. And apart from that, this university has also helped the students to prepare um, um, their resume to how to crack the interview, some interview skills. So they are providing some of the like say, CPT workshop. They are having uh, Western Michigan University they have a very good CPT workshop. And fortunately, so far they are not uh, asking for 320 GRE score. 300, 305, 310 would be a good score for them. Definitely, they will be looking at other things else also like your statement of purpose, your extracurricular activities, your academics, your academics. If you are having say around 58, 59, 60 percent from Pune University or from Mumbai University, definitely um, you are having a very good chance to get into this university. Then um, the top-notch university there, like Michigan State University. They have engineering management, they have design engineering, they have uh, manufacturing engineering and it's very uh, popular university student. They are looking for this university which is around say 1 hour and 27 minutes from um, Detroit area. So they are asking for a lot of money as well. They have, their tuition fee is very high but at the same time some newer university, some uh, modern university, they are charging you less, um, your tuition fee is low your living expense will be at par with those uh, top-notch universities but they are providing a very good workshop opportunities they are providing you job opportunity with the employer the second best area which i have seen that um, for manufacturing students say ohio ohio near to michigan and the students those who are going to ohio area they are getting a lot of jobs um, they have few of the uh, manufacturing company, companies which are into Fortune 500 like say Moen Incorporated, then they have British Petroleum, very good, then Serpent Williams, then Toledo, then Jeep, um, First Energy, then um, Owen Illinois, then um, they have um, American Electric Power, these are the companies which are into Ohio and students are being preferred from that locality for the curriculum based practical training. I'll just give you an example that last year 160 somewhere around students have been hired by Chrysler for curriculum based practical training and most of the students those who are studying master study they are from India, they are from China so you are being preferred. Native students they do not study a lot, most of them so that's why we are being preferred for those CPT and we are getting an advantage into that. Here I would like to mention that when you do CPT, you are being paid. When you are being paid, you are paying taxes. When you are paying taxes, you have been issued with social security number. So definitely you are being preferred for um, OPT or H1B full-time jobs as well. So we have to keep these things in mind. In Ohio, as I started speaking about, University of Cincinnati, very good university, University of Dayton, then um, Ohio State University is there, the University of Toledo. Toledo, uh, one good thing about Toledo is, that in Toledo there are many of the um, sub-divisional companies of Chrysler which are providing a lot of job and uh, University of Toledo becomes the single choice for the university for internship students. So if you are going to this university, it's not a very highly ranked university but definitely for a moderate student profile this would be a good pick and the students are, would be preferred in getting a job there. So it can be a good university then um, Cleveland State University again very good. Um, for some of the subjects, Cleveland State University, as I remember, it is in top 100 US news ranking for some of the subjects. Students with somewhere around say 300 plus score GRE, good profile for them and 60%, 58, 59, 60, 60, then 65%, they are very good profile for Cleveland State University. Now, um, with regard to Cleveland State University or Wright State University, which is again in um, Ohio area, they are having CPT workshop. Then in Ohio, if you search on the internet, you will be finding that they have for internship ohio.interns.com. If you go to this website, you will be finding there are many of the list uh, jobs listed in this website for paid internship, for free internship, for both of those, and only for the students. 
and most of the students, my students, those who are going to study into Ohio area or any of such area, I always suggest them that when you land to the university, in the first month only, you're everywhere you're in the job portals, if in the internship portal, your resume should be there and it should be highlighted there and you need to do changes as per, as per your profile is being changed. So say for example, if you have done some, uh, you have studied something related to um, say thermodynamics and you have done some research into that area during your study say in first semester your resume should reflect that in interns.ohio.com or in indeed.com it should be always be you know changing it should always be uplifting so that employers those who are um, or consultancies or the hrs they are always looking at the resume which are being active so student and my students who are doing this they are getting good jobs and then um, in Ohio, like Kent State University, Miami University, in Kent State they have manufacturing engineering, system engineering, mechanical engineering, uh, and mechanical engineering technologies. Then they have um, mechatronics and uh, with sustainable systems also they have one of the masters in technology. And then Ohio is proportionately has been very rich in oil and related areas. So like. Um, I was just telling you that British Petroleum is uh, one of the biggest employer in Ohio area. One, um, there was one oil company long, long ago in 1950.